Hi weather fans, so today we're going to be cooking the perfect melt in your mouth barramundi. So what we'll do is get straight to it. Hi weather fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, if those are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll put it to the video. Right now, don't forget everything I'm using the videos today. There will be links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipe will be down there as well. So make sure you check those out. Right, so as I said in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is cooking some barramundi. Uh, now this is a Western Australian fish. Fish I'm cooking today is absolutely massive. I'm using the Q-Ware pan. You can cook it on the grill and you can cook it on the flat plate. It's entirely up to you. Now, what we've got to do with this barramundi is cook it on a medium heat. You do not want to burn it. Now, I'm going to show you how I prepare my barramundi before I grill it, and the recipe will be in the description below. So make sure you check that out, as well as the best place to get your Weber products. So what we'll do is we'll jump straight into it. Right, so let's cook our barramundi today. We're going to do it on the baby Q, and we're going to do it in the Q-Ware pan. Now, we'll put a link in the description below of where to actually get these from. You can do it on the flat plate, or you can do it straight on the grill, just make sure you oil it well. But I'm gonna be using the QA pan and we'll see how it turns out. So what we'll do is zoom in and get it set up. So while our cue's heating up, we're just going to season this barramundi. And I'm just going to put some olive oil over there first. Or salt and pepper. Put over. And that's ready to go on the queue. So our queue's on that medium heat. It's been heating for around 15 minutes on a medium heat with the queue air panning and it's sitting around 200 degrees. So we're gonna cook the one at a time and then we cook them around three to four minutes per side. So I'll put it for three minutes and see how we go. So that's come to three minutes, so we're just going to turn it. Now you'll know it's cooking because you'll get that opaque look around the outside edge. And you can see that nice colour as we turn it. So we'll leave that for another three minutes. So that's been on for a further three minutes, that's six minutes in total. I'm looking for internal temperature of 63. And that's ready to come off. All right, so the second one, we've just got a hint of chili flakes on there. And I'm just going to stick that chili flake side down. And we'll leave that for three minutes. That's come to three minutes, so that's ready to turn. And we'll leave that for another three minutes. Come to three minutes, so we should be heating at 63 degrees, 64. So that is perfect. Let's take that off. And you can see it's literally falling apart. Beautiful. Right, let's get this plated up. Just have a squeeze of lemon and a fish. And we give it a taste. 
fish is literally falling apart. That just melts in your mouth. You've got that salt and pepper seasoning. You've got a little hint of chili flakes on this piece, which is absolutely beautiful. Perfect. Right, so I enjoyed that video and I hope you found it really informative. And as I said in the video, you can do that barramundi on your queue, you can do it on a baby queue, your Genesis, even on the Weber kettle. It's that easy. You've just got to keep it on a medium heat and don't obviously don't burn it, don't dry it out, and literally cook it between three and four minutes per side. Now the chili flakes on there. It wasn't too strong, it gave it a little bit of a kick, but just enough with that lemon juice to kick it back and it tastes absolutely beautiful. It literally melted in my mouth. You've, you've got to try this out yourself. If you try it out, make sure you put in the comments below how you went on with your barramundi, where it cooked really well. Um, it is a really easy, easy recipe. Obviously seafood is a little bit harder to cook. You've got to get it to that correct temperature. And again, you can just use the probe like I did just to make sure you get it at a spot on temperature that it needs to be. But don't forget everything I've shown in the video today, there will be links in the description below as well as the recipe. So make sure you check those out. But again, if those are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one.